What's up, Mies, and welcome back to my random apartment with TARDIS and Woodstock poster and beard. Um, yes, I know it's been forever since I've done a vlog. Uh, just procrastination and the greatness of Twitch. Um, just, you know, instant feedback is always great. Plus, I feel like Twitch is really helping me talk in front of cameras. Uh, just because, you know, you've seen the beginning of my videos. I'm very awkward, like, throughout the entire thing. A lot of jump cuts and things like that. But I have uh, embraced the ranting style of vlogging, which means that I don't have to cut as much. And I kind of force myself to keep talking at some way, depending on where it's going to go in conversation. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, how have you guys been? Hope you leave, you're doing great and all that jazz. Leave comments in below about how you're upset that it's been a while. Um, just been gearing up for South by Southwest, which is the end of this week, all the way through next week. <laughs> so that's been taking up a lot of my time. I've been, I was sick from, well you guys saw the end of my beard vlog, my, not my beard vlog, my Disney vlogs. And I was already getting sick at the end of that. Yeah, that lasted until the end of February. <laughs> Mainly because I didn't go to the doctor. And when I finally did, I found out that I needed more medication. So, we're here. I'm feeling better, amped up and whatnot. If you watch my Twitch videos, you already know all of this. Um, but today, we are going to do a beard update. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, so, as you can see, maybe the beard looks different to you. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, but yeah, so... This is probably the length that I feel the most comfortable with, and I'm probably going to keep it at this length. Um, it's just, it's, it's easy to maintain. I like kind of how it doesn't get super caught in the seatbelt all the time um, when I'm driving, because that becomes problematic from time to time. Um, gum can be problematic. Um, blowing bubbles is out of the question. Even sometimes getting, you know, just a little, it just, it's crazy. It, you know, you've got to be a little bit more careful with mustaches and things like that. And that's probably my next big thing is I'm really going to work on trying to shape the mustache a little bit more because as of right now like uh, it's just it goes so much into the beard that it's all like it's like a chameleon mustache essentially like it looks kind of tiny at first like right here but then you realize that all of this right here is connected to it so it's it's a it's a it's a system that I need to figure out I mean I'm gotten used to it. Uh, one thing, um, we're gonna just gonna go into products that I've been using lately. Um, I would say that this stuff, there's a guy named the Beard Baron and uh, he has a product called Premium Beard Wash and this stuff amazingly has really kind of helped shape my beard a little bit more. I put it in maybe like once or twice a week things like that and I wanna say that I've seen more like definition and shape since using it, um, which is amazing. It's got that, you know, soft, you know, texture to it even without putting beard oil or anything like that in it. Guy is awesome, it's fantastic. It's uh, non-scented, so if you have any other kinds of products that you like to use, um, like, you know, beard oils and things like that, it's not going to, like, uh, mix the scents or anything, which is fantastic. Um, he's also got a fantastic uh, it's limited edition, so get there soon if you do have a beard and you want to try this. It's called Fireside, and this stuff, beard oil-wise, is it smells amazing. Like it's one, like one of those things is along along the lines of what I kind of look for in beard oil is just scent because if it's going to be on my mustache, it's going to be I'm going to be smelling it all day long. So if I can't stand the smell or it's too much of an overpowering smell, not going to be able to do it. Um, which is why, you know, you guys have seen Woodsman, Woodsman Beard Oil. This stuff is kind of my go-to just because it has that cedar smell, which is ironic because I'm allergic to cedar. But it just smells, it smells amazing. It smells very Texas in a, in a sense. Yeah, I got the hiccups. Uh, so, you know, I, right now I have found that when it comes to beard products, it's all about preference. Um, it's kind of like I go for, you know, those, like, especially, um... The Beard Baron I found through YouTube, and he's awesome. Go check him out. I'm going to be leaving links to all of these people below. But the Beard Baron is great because he's very informative, and he tells you a lot of information, and I feel like I know more about my beard process now than I did before finding his videos, and his products are pretty fantastic. Also, um, since we're still on, on all of that, uh, mustache wax. Mustache wax, to me, is always going to be a little bit crazy just because... Like I said, my, my mustache goes into every crazy direction and things like that. Um, so you've seen, the, you've seen the standard stuff, like the Woodsman one comes in these, um, Spiffy stuff comes in these. They're, you know, just tins that you kind of can put in your pocket. They warm up. Very kind of harder wax, um, so a little bit, 
you kind of got to work with them a little bit more. You know, the best thing that I found to do is I um, warm these up with a Sensi. <laughs> I have one of the, the tops that doesn't have any wax in it. So I drop one of these in, give it some time. When I come back to it, it's, it's malleable enough to kind of like mess with the beard and stuff like that. And uh, that's where the beard um, baron comes into play because I bought one of these fantastic little combs which has been amazing for kind of shaping the mustache a little bit more and he you know he also has what I think is really cool is it's a mustache wax um, this is the fireside edition too that comes in kind of like a chapstick style so it fits a little bit easier in the pocket it's amazing for that reason alone because you know if if I have this weird you know circular shape as you know this this is going to probably go in my pocket more often than not and I mean these I just find myself like leaving in hotel rooms and stuff when I go on trips and stuff but this is actually something that I could see myself taking with me now I still love woodsman and spiffy stuff it's just when it comes to like on the go kind of scenarios where like the, like the mustache is going all in crazy directions I'm probably going to be have this on hand while when it comes to these, if I am going somewhere and I know that I'm not going to like, you know, have time to do anything else, I'll probably use one of these. Um, but it's all preference, like I said, um, greatness in that. Um, another mustache wax that I just found, uh, which <laughs> is pretty amazing because it's kind of like it's in a paste kind of form. It's a German company. Um, the the it's called Brothers Love, um, and this one smells amazing. It's very, it's, it's, there's, it's not a hard wax or anything like that. It's kind of like, it's, it's essentially like a toothpaste style of, you know, thing where you squeeze it out, put a little bit on. I was a little bit worried because when you look at it, if I can get this thing open, when you look at it, it has like a, like a brown look to it. And I was worried that with how light my mustache is, that it might be obvious. But once you like work it in and stuff, it kind of just blends and this stuff is great. Uh, it's it's also very easy on the go kind of thing that I feel like it's even more easy than the chapstick looking kind of one just because there's no heating up to this you don't need to worry about working it in like this stuff is good to go the second you put it in your mustache um, and then you can use these to like work it in get the shape a little bit more things like that so everything here I have you know I've been working with experimenting with trying to figure out what's the comfortable, most easy to go kind of scenario for me to get out the door without dealing with my beard on, you know, crazy amounts of time wasted. Um, so, yeah, I just did a lot of talking. I kind of spaced out. I went really fast. That's why this video is online. You can, you know, rewind, watch it again, you know, get, get those view counts up. Um, but yeah, and then the Megaton, which I talked about last time, finally, I think the last time... Wow, was it seven months ago that I did a beard video? It might have been. So this, this uh, is the updated one. Uh, so yet again, gigantic, filled, whatnot. It, like seven months of greatness out of this. I will say that in its last two months, um, it was getting a little bit coarse with how the, the bomb felt. Um, now that I have a new one, I'm, I'm definitely remembering, you know, the, the first off kind of stuff. So um, definitely this tin is amazing. Uh, it's one of those things that I put Beard Bomb in when I'm going out uh, for like special events and things like that just because I don't have to worry about the facial hair. I know it's going to stay in place and it's going to feel awesome and it's, you know, it's a very cooling sense. Uh, less of a Christmas smell than it used to have, which is a little bit disappointing. I miss that little hint of cinnamon um, that it used to have. It's not, I mean, it's it, it's very similar scent still. It just kind of feels like they're, they toned back on some of the Christmas scents. Um, if that makes sense, or I'm just, I'm talking randomly about beard stuff. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, uh, facial hair is a very weird, weird beast, and I know a lot of people on Tumblr and stuff always ask me, like, you know, what they should do and things like that, and there's been a lot of people asking me, you know, you know, tips and things like that, and really it's just, just keep growing. Like, there's, there's nothing I can tell you that will be the same for you because I don't know how your facial hair is going to grow. If anything, just if, if you if your if your benchmark has always been one month and you get stubble and then you say screw this, this is taking too long and you stop, you should probably get past a three month mark to kind of see where your facial hair is going. Because this, I mean, for this to this is 
a year and a half, two years of growth. Um, mine comes in a lot thicker just around and everything, but there's people who grow longer and it's like thinner. It's no matter what I were able to tell you, it's never going to be your specific genes and I'm not going to be able to help you out with that. It's all trial and error. It's building blocks of hair. You just have to work with it and see what's going to help. Um, I also got a new comb, which this thing is pretty fantastic. It's yet again, it's the, the bigger brother of little comb here, little mustache comb. And this thing has really helped shape out my mustache and facial hair in general. Um, I'm finding that the more combs like with this, with just the very, th you know, very thin um, uh, holes in it or spaces, that's really helping, you know, make sure that I'm getting everything in the where it should be. I have, you know, the, the bigger side. I don't use it as, as often. Um, I also use it for my hair. As you can see, I got a haircut again. Undercut is back and whatnot. So, it's greatness. I'm, I'm loving trying new products and, like, I, I kind of have made it an adventure of trying as many new products as possible. Um, you know, at varying times, just to kind of see how it affects my hair, if I like it, if something is going to kind of make me feel a little bit um, itchier, or if it relieves the itchiness that sometimes can happen when your beard gets dry. It's it's fantastic. I there's there's so many things that I could tell you to do, or like you know, maybe you're just watching this because you like to see facial hair. That's cool. Hello, welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for finding the vlog and whatnot. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, this stuff is amazing. Like I said, if, you, if you've been looking for a way to clean your face, then this has lasted a while. You don't need a lot. You put like maybe a dime to a quarter size in and it just, it fills the beard with soap and it feels awesome. Leave it in for a couple seconds, rinse it out, and you're good to go for like two to three days before you kind of, you know, maybe want to like, you know, shape it out a little bit more and clean out the grittiness of the, of the days and whatnot. Um... But all, all awesome stuff. It's, you know, preferences with sense, preferences with feel, easy to go work, you know, things like that. It just, it always depends. Um, I'm starting to ramble because I'm just, I just like products. Beard, like my, my, I would say right now, my trio of, of trifecta of awesome is Beard Bastard, Spiffy Stuff, and Beard Baron. Um, Spiffy Stuff, Texas Company, they're in Tomball. Fantastic. I just support Texas companies. Woodsman, um, Beard Bastard, he's in the Austin area, so I've met him. He's a good guy. He's great. If you're going to look for, you know, stuff like, you know, that that he really knows what he's doing and he's, he's a, a really cool guy to hang out with, try out that stuff. Great, greatness, greatness. Um, Beard Baron, awesome videos on YouTube. If you're worried about how your facial hair is turning out, if you're worried about if you're not doing something right with combing or how to it, how to put stuff in your beard or anything like that, he's the guy to go. He has videos. He updates, I think, like weekly at least. So check him out. Greatness. I'm helping other people out in this video, which is awesome because you guys should. I don't make beard products. I just buy beard products. So if I'm going to, you know, you you can you can see where my facial hair is at. You can be impressed with it. You can be not impressed with it. Um, they're you know both spectrums. It happens. Um, people have bigger facial hair than me, and then I'm always like, that is a cr great facial hair, but I just think that this is probably as big as I'm going to get, and this is comfortable for me. Phone's ringing. Oops. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Um, just wanted to kind of show you where I'm at, benchmarking and whatnot. Um, right now, I would say a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is I'm not trimming down, I'm just, uh, kind of cutting strays. So... As of right now, this is the fullness that I'm getting, that, that I'm comfortable with, and that I enjoy. Um, the sandwiches are still problematic, but, you know, I'm going to probably start using a little bit more mustache wax to get the, get the, uh, the ends out of, my, out of my mouth area, <laughs> so eating becomes a little bit more less problematic. Finger foods are a, uh, you know, chicken fingers, things like that. You can, you know, I, I break things down to try to, you know open the mouth wider to get get food in without without problems um but yeah guys it's all it's beards are crazy they're awesome i i love having a i love having a beard i can't like it's been six years six or seven years since i've seen a clean my my face clean shaven um i'm i'm assuming that there's that that there's a baby under here somewhere um because i just i haven't seen my face in forever maybe maybe i do look like a 25 year old now you never know Never know what's gonna happen with that, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, guys, thank you guys for viewing once again. Hit that follow button, share me with your friends and whatnot if you want to. Like I said, I'm I don't make products, I just buy them and then I tell you what I think about them. 
Uh, I'm going to be doing South by Southwest from the 13th through the 22nd. My goal for right now is to try to do daily vlogs, uh, so it'll kind of be in the style that I did for uh, for my Disney trip. Uh, so it'll be me talking on this couch with uh, you know the beautiful TARDIS behind me, and you know with cut-in shots of of the greatness of South by Southwest and all of what it, all it has to offer. And if you don't know. South by Southwest is a festival that's music, film, and interactive, and it's in Austin. I've, this will be my third year doing it, and this year I'm a theater manager. So a little bit more responsibility, but still awesome and fun and great and energetic and adrenaline rushing. Uh, so I'm going to be seeing a lot of films. I'm going to hopefully be seeing a lot of bands. And I'm going to try to share as much of that experience with you as possible. So with that being said, I am going to go play on Twitch now, like I said. I do that three to four times a week. That's kind of like my thing now. Um, so if you want to check that out, there'll be a link below. And uh, yeah, it's a cool way for you guys to stay in touch with me in between my procrastination and editing. But I don't think I'm going to need to edit this one because I have just straight talked the entire time um, without actually too catching for breath the most of the time. The rambling has started again, and I don't know how long this video has become. But I should probably end it because I'm pretty sure it's over ten minutes. Um, but yeah, guys, like I said, you guys are awesome. Thank you guys for viewing. I will be back at the end of this week with daily vlogs for South by Southwest and more to come. I'm going to try to stop procrastinating as much. You guys are awesome. Have an awesome night, evening, day, New Year's, whenever you plan on watching this. It, this video, like these, these beard vlogs get just random views and comments throughout the year because people type in beard and just find it. So welcome, wherever, wherever you are. And, uh, hope you guys are doing well. I'm not good at ending these.